Five Nights at Freddy's 10 year anniversary event starting literally tomorrow, I thought it would be fun to do a tier list ranking how excited I am for each of the things happening in the event. The first thing launching with the Five Nights at Freddy's 10 year anniversary event is of course My Pop Goes, which is a Five Nights at Freddy's fan verse game. As somebody who loves Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, I am very excited for this one and I cannot wait to stream it the day it releases, which is August 1st. Honestly, that one's going super excited for me. Although, wait, I haven't played any of the Pop Goes games before, so I'm a little bit worried because I don't know that much about the series. So now I'm tempted to put it a little lower. Maybe I'll just put it in excited just because I haven't played any of the games. I know nothing about Pop Goes. That being said, from what I've seen of the game so far, it does look like a really fun game, so... Yeah, definitely gonna keep it in the excited column, but I guess not super excited since I don't have any previous experience with the franchise. And then on the 2nd of August, we are getting the Joy of Creation, the new game demo. I have yet to beat any Joy of Creation games. I've tried playing the story mode game many, many times and it's very difficult. So I, I, I don't know where to put this. I love the style of the game. I love the animatronics in it. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lost here. I need somebody to teach me how to play the Joy of Creation story mode. Um, so I'm not super excited for it. Don't get me wrong, we're still gonna stream it and we're still gonna try it out when it comes out, but I'm a little worried that I'm gonna be really bad at it. So yeah, we're gonna put it in not excited. And then on the 3rd of August, we are getting the VIP interactive novel. As of now, I have not read any Five Nights at Freddy's books. I really wanna start reading them and possibly doing like book reviews here on the channel. So if that's something you would be interested in, let me know in the comments below. So for this book, while it's cool that it's like a choose your own adventure type of novel, it's not one that I'm particularly excited about. Next up on August 4th, we have the Steel Wool Studios announcement. Now, I think a lot of us are suspecting it's going to be a Help Wanted 2 DLC. So if it's that, I'm pretty excited about that. Honestly, maybe even super excited. I don't know. Since we don't know exactly what it is, ooh, I'm, I'm worried. I don't know if I'm more excited for that then my pop goes though so i might have to put it honestly i might put it in meh because like i'm excited but what if it ends up not being something that's worth being excited over i don't know how i feel about that placement because like i'm excited but i'm also like if it's not something to be excited about i'm worried about it i'm just gonna leave it there i'm just gonna leave it there next up on august 5th which is my birthday we have the new Daco and scott cawthon interview now this is going immediately to super excited i cannot wait for this interview it is going to be so entertaining i'm very very excited about this one next up on august 6th is a mystery collab a lot of people are speculating that it is going to be fortnite and I've seen some people hoping that it's Dead by Daylight. Honestly, it could be anything. It could be like a clothing, like merch collaboration, a plushy collaboration. It could be anything and we have no idea what it is. So that makes me a little less excited. If it was for sure Fortnite, I would be super excited. If it were for sure Dead by Daylight, even more so. I want Five Nights at Freddy's in Fortnite so freaking bad. I think that it would be so iconic in Fortnite. I want it so freaking badly. I play Fortnite off of stream, so if they introduce it into Fortnite, I will start doing Fortnite streams, absolutely. And same goes for Dead by Daylight. I love Dead by Daylight, and I would love to see a collaboration with Five Nights at Freddy's in Dead by Daylight. I think that that is less like likely than Fortnite. I think Five Nights at Freddy's fits easier into Fortnite's game than they do into Dead by Daylight, but I still would be very happy if we got a collaboration with Dead by Daylight, of course. But there's just so much that we don't know about it, because like, what if it is just something like lame? <laughs> because of that, I think I'm gonna put it in the meh category. And yeah, I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower than the Steel Wool Studios announcement because 
I feel like I'm a little bit more excited for Steel Wool's announcement than I am for this mystery collab because I'm just so worried about what this could possibly be. Next up on August 7th, we have Five Laps at Freddy's. Specifically, we just have the demo dropping on August 7th. Five Laps at Freddy's sounds like it's going to be a like Mario Kart racing type of game, which I really hope that it has online service so that we can play with like other people. Like I can play with other you know, friends of mine, as well as doing maybe like, you know, private lobbies so that we can play like with viewers on stream. I think that would be so much fun. So I'm really hoping they do something like that with Five Laps at Freddy's. Obviously there's still not a ton that we know about the game yet. We'll have to follow up after the event is over. But as it stands right now, I think I am very excited about Five Laps at Freddy's. There's just so much potential there. I am so very excited. And then we have Into the Pit. Into the Pit is releasing on August 8th, which is the 10 year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's, the first game. This game looks incredible. We've talked about the trailer on this channel in the past. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's game unlike anything we've seen before, and it is based off of the book of the same name, Into the Pit, which I have not read yet, but I'm going to start reading very soon so that I have like more context going into this game because I cannot wait for this game, honestly. I think this game is the thing I'm most excited about, so I'm gonna put it in super excited at the very, very top, even more excited for that than the Scott Cawthon interview. And yeah, I think that just about covers it. How excited are you for the Five Nights at Freddy's event? Let me know your rankings in the comments below. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.